Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we're back doing another Guilds of Ravnica Intermediate Swiss Draft League. The rare we got is Pelt Collector. Actually okay playing this card. I haven't played with it yet. I've played against it maybe once or twice. I think it's a very good card. It just grows and grows. Ideally, it's a card for Golgari, which I'm fine with. I like that. I like that tribe just fine. Um, just good synergy with all of the various uh, sack value effects. Um, and then beyond that, just any of your guys dying or coming into play, it just gets bigger. It's a good card. We're going to take the Collector. Over the Spy Bug, which I think is also a very good card. The Guild Mage, the Direct Current. I like the Stray. Pax Favor, Painter. But I'm, I'm fine taking the Rare here. I think it's a good card. I've been impressed with it follow-up pick well expansion explosion is incredibly good granted you end up paying seven or eight mana to deal three or four damage to something but deal three to any target draw three or four cards it's very good expansion i always forget about but that's actually a good ability too um i think you just tend to forget about it because you want to get that explosion value but definitely good not going to end up in the same deck as pelt collector but keeping our options open and we're not giving up much for it Crawl Swarm, which is pretty good. Spinal Centipede. Certainly not bad, but we're going to take the Is It card here. Okay, I love Crater Maker. Otherwise, there is a Rosemane Centaur, a Flight of Equinauts, and a bunch of stuff I don't care about. I Actually, Ramp Rampaging Monument is legit good. I've played with and against this enough where I can legitimately say if you cast one multicolored spell, you should be pretty happy to have this card in your deck. Uh, I mean, if you cast one multicolored spell when it's out, you should be pretty happy with with uh, cost to power ratio there. But let's take the Crater Maker. Love this card. Okay, so the pick now we have Conclave Guild Mage, Plague Crafter, Maximize Velocity, Cosmetronic Wave, Sonic Assault, good for the Izzet deck, Plague Crafter, great for Golgari. Hmm. Playcrafter is really just excellent with Pell Collector. I kind of want to just take this, keep the options a little more open. Sonic Soul is definitely something is at once, but I think Playcrafter with Pell Collector is a little more exciting. Golgari tends to be open more often. I don't know. I'm keeping my options open for now. I would prefer to do the Pell Collector Playcrafter deck, but I'm just I'm curious what's what's going to be open here. Whisper Agent seems really good with Pell Collector too. Flash, make it grow, surveil. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a Siege Worm in here as well. A Golgari Guildgate. Veiled Shade, which I haven't played with, but I've played against an awful lot. We'll take the Agent here. It's a great card. And the nice thing is it actually can work in either deck, which is good. All right, Dark Blade Agent, good to Mirror card. But we can take the Lurcher now. I'm fine with that. I, I, I'm i fine with Deadweight, but I'm much more of the mindset. In this format in particular, I've had a lot of success more drafting the strategy that you basically really go for that synergy. Look for good synergies like hired poisoners instead of removal. Things that you want to go to your graveyard. Poor colors fine. Like try and really not make make as little room for non creature removal as you can. Like Playcrafter is such a good card because it's an efficient creature that puts a creature in your graveyard and puts an opponent's creature in the graveyard. It's very good. We're going to take the Lurcher here over the dead weight. I hope my explanation was satisfactory there. All right. As much as I love Expansion Explosion, I'm going to really try and see if I can make this Pell Collector Golgari thing work. I love Vigor Spore Worm. I think we just take that. I, I'm not a big fan of Prey Upon in this format, but it does sort of make sense with the Golgari deck if it's something you don't mind dying and putting in your graveyard anyway. I love Generous Stray, too, but Vigor Spore Worm is an excellent card. Just very, very strong. Okay, Lurcher number two, or we can take the Undercity Uprising. I do like the Uprising. I think we want Lurcher number two, though. Uh, 
And the reason is because I want to get all these. I want to get as much payoff as I can. So we can take the painter here. I actually like the card. Or we can take a Pax Favor, which I also really do like. Getting a little bit four drop heavy. But painter is a pretty excellent way to finish games. I'm going to take the painter over the Pax Favor there. I think that, that could go either way. All right, Centipede is a great card for this deck as well. Really cool with Pelt Collector, actually. I really like that a lot. But let's take the Centipede. Think about this. You play a play crafter, you pump your Pell Collector, you sack a centipede, you pump your Pell Collector, you pump your Pell Collector. That's pretty cool. Uh, don't need any of this. I'm going to cut the black card. Uh, we can uh, Here we can take the Guild Gate. If we want to splash anything in Selesnya, I'm totally open to that, I guess. Um... For now, I'm just going to cut the worst card because I don't think it's likely we splash white. But if we open some bomb rare mythic that I want to, I can totally do that. Right now, we're off to a good start. We're actually off to a good start here. We have uh, we we have the opposite problem. Not problem, but opposite start that I usually have with a deck like this, which is we have all of the the payoff synergies, but none of the enablers. That's not true. Not none. We we have Blade Crafter, but we want some more enablers. Well, we already got the Selesnya Guildgate, and Assure is pretty excellent, so we're going to take it. Assure a symbol, rather. Um, with another Moodmark Painter, which we probably pretty easily wheel. All right. Will assemble. I like Mausoleum Secrets actually. There's a Pitiless Gorgon in here as well. I think we wheel the secrets. No one really cares about that card, so I'm probably just going to take the Gorgon. This is probably the best deck for it because it kind of does exactly what you want trades with anything, attacks into anything. Okay. Jeez, Crackling Drake, huh? Portcullis Vine, the deck for this card, so we'll take it over the third Lurcher. Doesn't really work with Pell Collector, though, does it? It's okay. Guild Mages Forum, we already have four multicolor. It also randomly works with a symbol in the late game. And we're not giving up too much for it. We're giving up another Selesnya Guildgate, but I'd rather have the form. I love this card. There's also a Dissident in here. Whatever. We're taking the form. I love it. Bigger Spore Worm, number two. I'm fine with that. It's a very powerful card. Here... Vine number two. Just a way to get creatures in the yard and buys time. Taking over Plaza and Elemental and Dissident. No problem. Looks like another Mausoleum Secrets. Right now it actually doesn't find anything too crazy. It does find Plague Crafter and Lurcher, so it can find some payoffs. Pretty tempted to take the Generous Stray. Or the third poor colors vine, probably the stray. Just straight draw card plus one two body. You can really play as many vines as you want though in a deck like this. It it really does everything. I think we're gonna wheel that other mausoleum secrets though, like I said. I'm gonna take the stray here for diversity. Stray number two bat over bats and dissident. I we're getting a lot of three drops, I admit, but I really like Stray a lot. Okay, Utopia. We're not going to play it, but we'll cut green. Got the secrets back, kind of as expected. I'm fine. I like the card. It's a late crackling Drake, but we're just going to take the Never Happened for sideboard. We're not competing for those colors. So it looks like we could have built the is it deck early on too but actually i'm i'm really happy so far with this uh golgari foundation we've got going i guess i'll cut the white card cut the green get the lurcher so 
So what does our deck need? I'd like some, like, uh, Hired Poisoners, Barrier of Bones, um, Okran Assassins. Always want Okran Assassins. Can never have enough of those. Urshwell Trooper, not a good card, unfortunately. Okay, we can splash for Ledev Champion. I don't think that's going to happen. We can take the Gorgon. Good with the Guild Mages Forum. Good in general. Or there's a Molder Hulk. And there's a Golgari Guildgate. We need six cards to make a deck. Do I just go for the mana fixing? Probably. I think Gorgon is good. But we'll probably get it back. I mean, you could get the guild gate back too. And it could take the monument, but I think we're going to get enough cards for this deck. I'm just going to take the fixing here. Okay, Harpooner is fantastic. I don't like the Golgari Raider. Severed Strands, Hired Poisoner. This is one of those packs that has everything you want in it. I'm going to take the Harpooner over the Strands. <sighs> it's tough. Strands is very good, but so is Harpooner. I'm going to hope to wheel the Poisoner. Probably wheel the Raiders, though. Just Bounty of Might randomly. Just win the game card, yeah. Taking it. Love this card. Hopefully wheel the Selesnia Guildgate, I guess. I don't know. Nightvale Predator, jeez. Take the Plaza. Take the Prey Upon. What kind of bodies do we have for Prey Upon? Not very good ones. I guess we have the Lurchers and the Vigor Spore Worms. Okay, we'll take it. I mean, there's nothing else. I don't think we need the Plaza. Overgrown Tomb. Well, it's good, but I want this Poisoner. We want the Death Touch. We need the cheap Death Touch quite a bit. No Barrier of Bones has been surprising. Fine Broker is a phenomenal card. Taking it over Vapors and Centipede. Okay, Golgari Guildgate. Taking it, making the mana better. We've got space for one card in here. Got the Severed Strands, excellent. Perfect 23rd card. And we're in good shape. So, Mausoleum Secrets can find our Severed Strands, our Plague Crafter, a Painter randomly, Fine Broker, Lurcher. Good toolkit. Poisoner, I guess, in a pinch. Very good toolkit. So we can take the Mulder Hulk. I guess so. I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna make the deck, honestly. I can consider it, but I don't think it is. I don't really like Golgari Raiders either. Much rather play a Lurcher. Forego some haste for an extra two power. It's worth it. Alright, Generous Stray, number three. I'm okay with that. I'll take the plaza. We don't need it now, but... Yeah, we don't need it. We already have three tap lands, so... Okay, Uprising, we're going to take that, and we're going to play it, as a matter of fact. So, very nice. Okay, this deck came together nicely. Mulder Hulk is gone. And we've got to figure out some other cuts, actually, which might be a little bit more challenging. But overall, we're we're looking good. I think we probably cut one of the Lurchers. Three seems a bit excessive and unnecessary. Okay. So, two more cuts. And... I like having the painter randomly just as like a little toolkit. The menace just this just wins the game sometimes. So then we just need one more cut. What kind of bodies do we have for prey upon? We have the poisoner, which we don't mind using it with. I'm kind of feeling like the centipede probably gets the cut. I like the card a lot in general, but I'd rather have like a whisper agent, I think. Because of the surveil, but maybe Whisper Agent because it's color intensive is the actual cut here. 
Surveil is good, but if it's between these two, Centipede probably is better than Whisper Agent in this deck. It's debatable. I think I'm going to opt for less color intensive with Upside when it dies. It just sort of makes sense. More sense with a deck like this, I think. Um, removal looks good. Got the big finisher, Bounty of Might. We have a lot of six drops. We're very, we're a little top heavy, admittedly. But I kind of like this. You can play Assure as a two drop too. Assure is just fine as a two drop. So, okay, three six drops actually still a little bit top heavy, but I kind of like it. I, I do like this. So let's get our, let's sort by color here. Oops. Okay. So these require both. This is double green, so we have more green requirement than than black in here. Maybe we do play the plaza, I'm not sure. I don't want to because it just sucks when it's like your the land you top deck. That's your sixth land, but we are a bit color intensive in here, like I said. I think with double Golgari Gilgate and Selesnya Gilgate, though, we should be fine. I don't want to bog the deck down with too many tap lands. But fixing is nice. Hmm. I guess the thing is, we actually don't have many two drops, which is a better argument for Gateway Plaza, because you can almost consider this like a two drop, you know? Alright, I'm going to, at the risk of slowing the deck down a little bit, I am going to play it. So, this gives us. Currently, we have five green, I guess, if you count this. Five green and four black. So. We don't need a planes. So, this would be nine. Uh, oh, we up. Uh, we go like this. Five green, four black. So, this would be 12 and nine. We probably can get away with. 11 and 10. We do need double black, but not for a lot of things. We don't need double green for a lot of things either. Okay, I think we'll do 12 and 10. I like it. And then there's still, what, three sources of white if we ever want to cast a symbol? That sounds good to me. Okay, I'm, I'm satisfied. Good looking deck. Yeah, it's cool. Good deck. Go Gary. Here we go. We'll see you round one. So with this deck, we play first uh, game one, and then depending on what our opponent's playing, we can, this is a great hand, we can decide if we want to uh, draw in game two. If they're a you know mid-range deck like we are, we can draw because we have good mid to late game value. We build up the graveyard and just play some big finishers. I think no Ochre and Assassins is actually going to be a bit more costly to us than I would like, but that's okay. It looks like we're playing against an aggro deck here. Portcullis Vine, actually not bad, but I think we're just going to play the Gorgon. Could have actually played the Stray, now that I think about it. That's okay. Next turn, I think we'll just go Stray plus Vine. So we'll take it this turn. Okay. Poisoner too. Not bad. So let's go Stray here. Michael Strahan. And go Vine. And I guess we'll swing. Uh, 
I'm okay making this trade. They don't want to make it either. So if they play two instants or sorceries, they can turn off both our blockers, but I'm okay with that. We have the Undercity Uprising too, which I think is quite good here. Okay. Paying for it, which is nice. Ornery Goblin, okay. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay. So. I think we just attack with Gorgon again. Then we can go Poisoner and leave up the Vine to Sacrifice. Okay. That's a little bit surprising. What are they mentoring, I guess? They mentor that? Interesting. Okay. So, let's figure this out. We've got. We want to kill this. This is kind of a priority. We definitely want to kill this. That's a priority. And if we're sacking the vine anyway, we probably just block here. Three cards left in their hand. Good to know. Okay, so let's sack the vine here. Yes. Harpooner, okay. So some things are gonna die. We take a couple damage. Now we have three creatures in your yard for this sweet vigor spore worm. Stray could go stray and harpooner, but I think we just go let's bust out the big guns here. So we get in for five and have a vigilant death toucher too, which is nice. Sure. It's nice as Undercity Uprising actually works well here. No attacks is actually a bit surprising. Okay. Perfect. Let's go stray first. See what we draw. Lurcher, that's pretty good. The Harpooner we can use as something that can kill a flyer. Doesn't do a ton on the board right now. Actually, it works well with the Uprising because of the Death Touch. Okay, so we're going to go Vine plus Harpooner here. And then we 
pass. Could attack with the Gorgon, but doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Three cards left in their hand. We have no emergency to use under City Uprising. I'm kind of holding out on that until we have a, a emergency play, like something like this. This, for example. Yeah, so this is perfect. We can Uprising now and kill the flight of Equinauts. And then the nice thing is we can actually just attack with everything, too. It's very good. Ah, secrets? What can I find right now? Is there something I can win with? Uh, severed strands to get rid of their Minotaur. How much mana? I have six mana total, so four. I can just play the secrets. I see. Okay. Well... I think we start with this. This is fine, actually. So we can we can find painter, fine broker, plague crafter. Yeah, we can get the strands. So that seems good to me. Let's get in for. Uh, Skin for six. Okay. Okay. That's pretty sensible. So, Mausoleum Secrets, like I said, right now can find Severed Strands. Uh, is there something else that I'd rather find? Like, Fine Broker bringing back a Vigor Spore Worm is a little bit slower than I'd like. We can also just sack the secret or uh, sack the vine, which I don't think is bad. I think we are going to sack the vine. My thinking is we have the lurcher. We can play secrets. It's only getting better. That's a good draw. So we go. Land, Pelt Collector. They have no cards left in hand, too, which is nice. So we can attack with the Gorgon. That will pump our Pelt Collector when it dies. We still have the blocker for the Whelp. We're going to play Lurcher this turn, but... Uh, I think we just play Lurcher, actually. I'm going to keep the uh, Gorgon. So we pump. We have a 7-7. Seven, seven. So we pass. Leave up the Mausoleum Secret still. And at this point, what do we We have five creatures in the yard. Is that why Lurcher is so big? Just saving secrets till we need it because it's instant speed. Like I said, Fine Broker and like Severed Strands are looking the best right now. We have Reach, so the Whelp is completely 
irrelevant here. Yeah. Our guy gets bigger yet again. Whelp number two, sure. So we can find our severed strands. Sack a generous stray. Doesn't pump our Pell Collector anymore, but... The question is, do I want to do that? Or do I want to get like a... We probably just get the strands, I think. Is there something better? Remember, it's black cards only, too. I could find another Lurcher, which is quite good. I think we get another Lurcher. We're kind of just putting our opponent in a spot where they have to block every turn. I think the more lethal creatures we find, the better. Um... There's Painter as well. In fact, Painter might even be better because we force them to double block. But we, we don't pump the Pell Collector is the problem. Okay. We're going... We can So we can Painter the Pell Collector force them to double block it. They can just kill it with like a goblin or a torch courier. Alright. We're going to get the... Although the fine broker... Yeah, fine broker gets back harpooner to fight whelp anyway. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay. So, Boros, Aggro. We want to lower the curve if we can. Not sure we can. We can do a Whisper Agent over... We can get off of the Sure Symbol plan, but actually I like the Indestructible. Hmm. Our curve's not bad. I could cut a four drop. Maybe cut the painter. As much as I like it. Could cut a vigor spore worm, actually. Cut a six drop. Probably makes more sense. I love this card. It's great for our deck, but... We're against aggro, so we should really be... Smarter with our... Our mana. In fact, why don't we cut both worms and bring in another Lurcher? That way we're down to one six drop. And our deck's a little more... I guess two six drops, but our deck's a little more... Uh, I don't know. Streamlined. Okay. I like this. is mulling to five, which is nice as well. So let's go collector here. That actually gets by our vine. Um, let's go Guildgate, Vine. I don't really want to trade my Pell Collector for a Locksmith. So now we just go, that was a good draw, let's go Centipede, pump our Pell Collector and get in.
Next turn, Whisper Agent. You can play for four. Flash it into. It's pretty cool. Um, sure. Yeah, actually, the surprise Whisper Agent off a of Guild Mages for him, that's totally unexpected. Luminous Bonds actually isn't even that good against us because of the... Uh... Oh, wow. That's that's really good. So we're foregoing a little bit of damage to get the surprise block on this, this locksmith, but it's worth it. Okay, so let's cast this. Pump our Pell Collector. Surveil. Uh, we can graveyard that. And we block. If it dies, pumps our Pell Collector anyway. If it doesn't, we have a 4 3 for 3 mana. Extremely efficient. Sure. Pump our Bell Collector again as Trample now. Puts a creature in our graveyard. Stray is a great draw. So we can actually play the Stray and leave up uh, the Assure. Although, admittedly, I'd much rather cast a symbol right now. Lurch is a great draw. So we can sack the vine, play the lurcher, or play the assemble. Both options are good. Hammer dropper, sure. Let's sack this, draw. Yep. Plaza, don't need that. Bounty of Might just for the win. Okay, sounds good. Wow, awesome round one. We'll see you in round two. Okay, round two, we've got a keep here. Good hand. So we'll play the guild gate first, set up for that turn two harpooner. And depending whether our opponent is Uh, Demir or is it? I think will help us decide if we want to go first or second here. Still unsure. Good land draw there. So let's go with Harpooner. Get a little beat stick going here. Can get that stray down next turn too, which is good. Okay, informant. Or we can go centipede. Maybe centipede's better. That way they can both attack into the informant. Yeah. Okay. And then next turn we can go. Um. Vine stray whatever, whatever we need to do. They don't have their second color yet. Interesting. Okay. So let's get in there. So 
So we'll go stray. It's okay if they counter it. Just helps our later game plan anyway. Okay. And we'll drop a vine. And we'll pass. Sure. So these kind of enchantments like Luminous Bond, Capture Sphere, we're not too worried about them because we have like Plague Crafter, we have Severed Strands. We actually have a good deck for uh, dealing with that, that problem there. So I guess we get in there and pass and we're going to be sacking our vine to dig. And in fact, we could just go ahead and sack the uh, the vine right now because we could potentially find something that we can play. So I'm okay with that. Oh, that's definitely something we can play. Okay, so they found their black mana. They are Demir, which means being on the draw is going to be of great benefit to us here. So, Fine Broker, don't need it currently. They can't counter our Vigor Spore Worm, though. So it's probably just this. Pump our Harpooner. Oh! Oh! guess I spoke too soon. Okay, so we'll get in again here. We can find Broker it back. We can play the Lurcher. We have Bounty of Might. I think we're doing okay. No plays, six mana open. That's fine. So, Prey Upon is actually pretty good here. Let's see. Um, let's get in. Um, let's see, we can play the fine broker, getting back the worm. We don't even have to prey upon the informant, but I don't mind doing it either. I think we do it. Let's see if they... Let's, let's prey upon here. All right, we'll play the Fine Broker. Actually, probably play the Lurcher. I think it's going to get countered. So if I was going to get something countered, I'd rather have the thing that... I'd rather keep the Fine Broker. It's just going to be more value for us. I was trying to draw out a spell. Otherwise, I could have just cast the Lurcher and then used Spray Upon. But I have the feeling they, they've, they've got six open mana. They've got something to play here. I'm surprised actually they don't. So maybe is their plan to just sack the locket? I'm not sure. That's surprising. Okay. So currently if they play like an expensive removal to kill Lurcher, Bounty of Might is just short of lethal. One damage short of lethal. Alright, no play again. 
which is pretty telling. The old mage's form is actually a good draw. Let's get in there. Artful takedown. Um, let's go. Bounty to pump this once and then pump this one twice. And what that does is makes their artful takedown not lethal. Let's us get him for seven points of damage. Oh wait, more than that. Wow. Very good. Okay, so two lethal creatures on board. We're in good shape. Bounty of Might did its job. Fine Broker in hand, just waiting to get back a Vigor Spore Worm. Centipede, okay. So, hmm. So I can play Fine Broker plus Lurcher, which I think I do. I can also play one of these pumped, but we want to just get dudes out there. So we get in with everything here. And we go Fine Broker. Getting back the Worm. And we go, oh, I should have played Lurcher first. Whoops, that was a mistake. That's okay. Wrong order. Not a huge deal. So now we have three lethal creatures. Yeah. Okay. So we're playing against a slow deck, which is good for us. Because we have, like I said, we have a good late game plan. Uh, we can do Never Happened. Just gives us more control. If you look at our... If you look at our card advantage, triple Generous Stray, double Portcullis Vine, I guess these aren't technically card advantage, but they serve they serve us to a good end here. Prey Upon is still probably fine. Maybe we don't need anything. I'm not really seeing anything I want to cut. I like I, I like everything we're doing here. Our deck is well poised to deal with basically any deck because we've got curve going everywhere. I, I think we just run it back. I have a feeling they're going to go for a more counter-based strategy, but the nice thing about the build we have is I feel like we deal a reasonable amount of damage at any point in the game. I would like to keep this hand. I just don't, I don't think it's ultimately worth it. Any land and we can... At least sack the vine. It's it's a tough choice. I think ultimately it's best for us to mull. Our opponent wants to play first, which is I think good for us. This is a fine keep. I didn't have to keep the generous stray on top there, did I? Ah, it's okay. I feel like it's an okay card to keep. Sand is admittedly a little bit awkward. That's interesting. Are they gonna, what are they gonna get rid of? The Asura symbol maybe? I'm not actually not sure what I would get rid of if I was my opponent. Maybe the Stray? Uh, they did go for the Asura symbol. That, that's actually it's not a big deal. We were obviously quite a ways away from playing that anyway. So they already know about the forum and the swamp. So I guess it doesn't matter if we play the forum now. I 
Uh oh, Dark Blade Agent. That's a big problem. Under City Uprising, okay. Three cards left in their hand. Mausoleum Secrets cannot... Ooh, awkward. Okay. Getting punished pretty badly here. Our mana base is incredible, though, so this is... I think, uh... This is an off chance of this happening. I don't think this is super likely to happen uh, very frequently. This is just one of those random things that happens. Um, yeah, our, our deck should easily be able to draw at least a land at this point. So if we haven't, then it just wasn't meant to be. This is more unfortunate just because... Uh, like I said, I think we're very well poised to beat our opponent. We almost prefer to play decks like what our opponent is playing rather than like Boros and it, because we, you know, take a little bit of setup, but obviously getting crushed right now because of some pretty severe mana problems. In hindsight, I wish that I had bottomed the stray it would have allowed us to have the forest to turn earlier. So that was a, that turned out to be obviously a, a, a grave mistake. So, all right. In hindsight, I would go back. I would change my, my plan on that. But I think we can easily beat our opponent. We want to be on the draw. Um, we just need to draw better. So we don't want to play first. We want a good keep, which we have. Not a amazing keep, but a keep nonetheless. So we go vine here. Um, I may want to sack the vine on turn two. I guess it depends on what my opponent does. Uh, yeah, I think we do. Because I want to go Gorgon. We don't need the Gateway Plaza immediately. So we'll sack it. Mm hmm Okay. Alright, getting a little land heavy hand now, which could be problematic if it continues. If it doesn't, we're fine. Alright. Probably just going to play a Lurcher into a... Uh, well, it's actually... that's okay. Now we have a easy Severed Strands thing. I'm going to get the 3-3 three, three down, though. I want to have something on the board that can pressure my opponent. Okay. Centipede. Makes sense here, actually, yeah. So we'll play the Plaza. We play the centipede and we pass. And we probably want to sack the lurcher because we have a means to get it back with a fine broker in the deck. Dowser of Light. So we sack the lurcher. Mosleam Secrets too. Great. Okay. So sack lurcher here. Kill your dowser. Get in with centipede. Play the lurcher. And have a pretty good board presence. Secrets can find whatever we need, uh, which is probably a fine broker. Oh, wait. We can only find two right now. So we need more before we can do that. Vigor Spore Worm. Quite good here. One card left in our opponent's hand. Is there something I'd want to find? We already played our Severed Strands. I don't think so. Uh... We're going to play the Vigor Spore Worm, so I guess we go see if they have the... Uh... If they counter this, Mausoleum Secrets is 
going to be able to find our fine broker. So even if they counter this, they're going to, they're definitely blocking here. And then our mausoleum secrets can do exactly what we need, which is find our, uh, our fine broker to get back our vigor spore worm, essentially get the value that we need. I think we sandbag this swamp. Um, the thinking is, uh, Oh, that's interesting. That's not a bad idea, actually. Okay. That's their last card, though, so that's that's okay. I guess it doesn't matter what we pump now because we cannot attack. Okay, so let's pass here. So the plan is swing. Oh, that's perfect. Just perfect. And then we go one, two, three, four in the yard. So we even get to go secrets, find broker, play it, get back to lurcher. And pass. So even if they can deal with the thing, they can't deal with our lurcher. Opponent says GG's. And that is that. So like I said, our deck is very well poised to beat the Demir deck, especially ones running Capture Spheres when we have the, the sack value spells. We want creatures in our graveyard, which you would think, well, then Capture Sphere would be good against us. But like I said, we have like Playcraft or we have Severed Strands. Uh, do we have something else? Or maybe it's just those two. But, oh, Undercity Uprising. Yeah, so we actually have three legitimate just prey upon. Just four good spells with it. Very good value spells against their uh, the opposing capture spheres. So, excellent. We'll see you in round three. All right, round three, once again, playing first. We're going to keep it. I think it's a fine keep. Three, three drop green spells. And uh, any land and we can play whatever we need. Seems worth it to me. So we would prefer to play against Selesnia, but if we're against Boros, we could be okay too. Depends. Okay, the recruit is good against either of the things we play, so maybe we just do the Gorgon because it can attack back a little bit better than our Stray can, and we don't necessarily need the uh draw card effect right now rock charger pretty good so take our medicine here severed strands also quite good here let's go uh get in with the gorgon and we could technically draw a pelt collector or a hired poisoner so it's just a guessing game. Let's 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 do the uh let's set up our pelt collector here. Okay. It's a guessing game anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but next turn what's what's nice is we can go straight plus severed strands, which is good value for us. Um they found their red mana. Alright, we're gonna kill that patrol. So we take some medicine here. Fine broker, very good. Let's, uh, we're going to be sacking our stray anyway. Actually, no, we just go stray. Draw, strands, kill patrol, gain some life, sack the new stray that we played. Get in for three. And... Next turn, we can go Fine Broker getting back Stray. We can play the Lurcher. We can go Painter. Probably play the Fine Broker getting back to Stray. 
So we're playing against hyper aggro. So we're going to be changing the dynamic of our deck in game two here. Um, yeah, we're off to just slow enough of a start where I don't think this is going to work well for us. So we'll smash back. Play the fine broker, getting back the stray. Play the guild gate. And pass here. So we have like Prey Upon, we have Undercity Uprising. We've got some means to kill that Rock Charger, which we kind of need to do. We have Crawl Harpooner too, actually, which would be excellent here because it can kill the Rock Charger without actually uh, losing anything, which is nice. All right, Tribunal, I imagine taking out the Fine Broker. So we got to dramatically lower the curve here because they are hyper aggro and they got just about as consistent of a kill on us as they could ask for. Granted, we can still rip a harpooner here. We can rip something, but we need it right now. Not it. All right. So we look super dead to me, which means we go to game two. Cut the top end, go towards the middle end here. So you're gone, you're gone. Um, I wouldn't even mind cutting the painter, I guess. But uh, Whisper Agent comes in. Hmm. I guess we just bring in another Lurcher. We don't have enough other things to do is the problem. I'm not going to do a pause for reflection, I don't think. So, I think that's it. Hyper aggro, we definitely want to be on the play. We can keep this hand, it needs some help. Harpooner would have been just a nasty draw there. Super nasty draw, but we'll uh, we'll offer the trade here because Fine Broker doesn't actually have a target yet. Still have the opportunity to just rip a Harpooner and just wreck our opponent's world. All right. I think we're just going to rapidly, rapidly lose this game if we don't just draw something. We need to be able to deal with something our opponent has. If we can't deal with anything, we are going to lose in horrible fashion here. Yeah. I can't imagine a better spot for Harpooner. It's impossible to come up with a board state where Harpooner is more needed. All right. Ripping lands, not what we need. Kind of unfortunate, but that's the way this uh, game is going, it looks like. So going to have to two-for-one ourselves to basically not take too much damage. We're still just taking too much damage, though, is the problem. So... To say I'm disappointed would be an understatement. Very, very disappointed right now. Too many goodies to draw and just not ripping them. So, all right. So we go Fine Broker, getting back Pell Collector, play the Pell Collector, pass. And once again, need to find an answer for the Hawk or it's going to be GG's.
Yeah. I was hoping our opponent did not get the nut and we got nothing, but that is what it is precisely looking like here. Just absolutely nothing. Yeah. All right. Super disappointing match three after how well our deck was performing matches one and two. I mean, it was like just doing everything we wanted. Everything. We were just doing the most magical plays rounds one and two. I could not have asked for... I couldn't have asked for our deck to play better. Ripping Bounty of Might at opportune times for Xaxes. Uh, Mausoleum Secrets doing exactly what you want. Toolkitting the things you exactly need. Everything was going exactly right. But now it looks like we are done, son. Well, the nice part about this is... Uh, the first strike is going to kill the centipede, which pumps our pill collector to kill the shield mate. That's actually kind of good. Don't think I can deal 26, unfortunately. All right. Loved our deck. Hated round three. Really, really hated how our deck played in round three. But beautiful deck. Uh, I still love Golgari. I've had a lot of success with it. I think it's a great archetype. I would not let that round three be representative of this deck. That was just really bad. Did nothing that whole game. Uh, but this is a really fun archetype. I think it's very uh, consistent. You get the card draw. Uh, well, I guess not consistent in round three, but uh, I think it is actually very consistent. You have a lot of ways to draw cards. You have a, a great mid to late game plan. It's a lot of fun to play. Uh, here's hoping we can do better with it uh, for the next time. We played Playcrafter exactly zero times, too, disappointingly. Um, all right, we'll see you uh, for the next one.